During the Apple event back in October, Apple unveiled the new MacBook Pro line with a fancy new touch bar. They also slipped a 13-inch MacBook Pro that still includes the function keys in Under the Radar. We've still got a couple of weeks to wait until we get our hands on the MacBook Pro with touch bar, but today we're gonna tear down the brand new 13-inch MacBook Pro with function keys. Opening our new MacBook started out as expected with the removal of pentalobe screws. But when the bottom case didn't want to budge, we enlisted the help of our opening picks and suction cup. Then we finally got our first look inside. The first step once we enter a device is always to disconnect the power source. Normally, that's pretty straightforward, but this is a puzzling connector we've never seen before. This wide-headed T5 screw serves as a super secure press connector for the battery. Next, we tackled the trackpad and were pleasantly surprised to see how easy it is to remove. Upon further inspection, we find some familiar digital hardware piggybacking on the trackpad. The ST Microelectronics ARM Cortex M3 MCU, the Broadcom Touch Controller, and of course, the Taptic Engine, all of which we saw during our teardown of the 2015 MacBook. Next out is the battery, only this battery isn't gonna come out without a fight. We had to use a lot of heat and prime before we finally got this battery free. This Pro features half as many battery cells as the 2015 MacBook Pro and is rated at 54.5 watt hours, which is 27% less power between charges than last year's edition. Next, we come to the removable SSD. This SSD uses a high-speed PCIe-based interface, but this form factor and pin configuration look new to us. Your factory-issued SSD is powered by four 64GB chips of SanDisk-made NAND flash memory for a total of 256GB. And after a little digging, we find the Apple SSD controller. As you might remember from the Apple event, Apple boasted about an advanced thermal architecture. We're a little disappointed that advanced architecture really meant relocation of the heatsink screws to the backside of the logic board. Some chips of note include the SK Hynix LP DDR3 High Speed Synchronous DRAM and the Intel made Thunderbolt 3 controller. You can see the complete list of chips we've identified over at our teardown at ifixit.com. We've come to the end of our teardown and now we turn our thoughts towards repairability. How did the MacBook Pro late 2016 score? It got a two out of 10 and here's why. On the upside, the trackpad can be removed without first removing the battery. But on the downside, proprietary pentalobe screws continue to make opening the device unnecessarily difficult. The battery assembly is entirely and very solidly glued into the case, thus complicating replacement. The RAM is soldered to the logic board. Pay for the upgrade now or be stuck with eight gigabytes forever. There's no chance of an upgrade. And finally, the proprietary PCIe SSD still isn't a standard drive. Cross your fingers for future compatible drives. For now, you're stuck with what you got. And that's our teardown. For the complete teardown, including tons of beautiful, high quality images, head on over to ifixit.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all our latest teardowns and repair videos. You can follow us on Twitter at ifixit and give us a like on Facebook at facebook.com slash ifixit.